Hey guys, what's up? Same my bird here. Oh, uh, this will be part two. How I fixed Sire Rattle. <laughs> Ran out of cotton balls. I had to scour the whole house for like three cotton balls. <laughs> so luckily I had those. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna tear this into a third. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to continue right where I left off. So you guys are going to have to watch the other video, and it's like 30 minutes long. So you're going to have to watch that one first, because I described the whole process of starting this. And you really, I would suggest watching it before you do this. Don't watch this video and do it, because there's there's secret information in the first one. that you only, It's only on a need-to-know basis, and you might need to know it when you do that. Maybe. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. You already know how to do this, and you don't even you don't even need me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, continue, and it's getting better. It's barely rat. I think it's it's not so much rattling here anymore. It's rattling. Oop! Oh, I gotta almost my phone's starting to die. All right. So. Hopefully I can get this done real quick, and then we don't have to worry about it. Let me saturate this in uh, petroleum jelly, or Vaseline, whatever you want to call it. It's petroleum jelly. It's oil-based. Uh, all right. That's uh, kind of a bigger piece. These are bigger cotton balls. Uh... I should have started a little smaller. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna try to kind of put it more to the top. And see if I can get rid of that rattle coming out of the middle of the side. That's a problem. Well, let's see. I'm making no noise, but if I hold it here. I can feel it flopping in there. I don't know, man. At least you'd be able to sneak up on some zombies. I mean, like I said in the first video, that's, you know, that would be one of the drawbacks. So, I mean, the cotton ball's in there. It ain't flopping down the end. It's right here. I can, I can feel it. Since I put my hand here, I can feel it hitting it. But still, even that ain't real bad. I bet I could put another piece in there. Let's go a little smaller, though. Let's try kind of a smaller piece, see what happens. I think I still got room for play. So this is where it gets a little dangerous. I mean, because I pretty much got rid of the rattle as far as I can get, as far as I think I can get, maybe. I don't know. Usually, usually it works a lot better. <laughs> And it's kind of funny, I was just talking about how this could happen in the first video, and here it is happening to me, so. And it's, like I said, shit like that happens to me all the time, so. If it can't happen to me, it probably has, and does, and will, and has. Okay, so I'm going to put it kind of towards the top now, like, like I did in the last one, so. All right, I'm still feeling it. Oh, I see we're getting we're getting a little tight there. I still got some room though. Getting Vaseline all over the place. Let's try a little bit more. That's too small a piece. I pretty much went to fourths of a cotton ball instead of the third of a piece. Of course, them cotton balls were smaller. So actually, the pieces are about the same. The cotton balls that I found were different size. So the pieces are about the same. Just like a third of what the other ones I was doing. I usually try to keep it actually the size, about the size of a, I don't know, I'd say a dime. Like I said, you don't want to, really don't want to go over, man. Go over, you're screwed. So, 
Um, yeah. All right, I see it, I feel it. Ooh. Boy. Almost got rid of it all, didn't it? Even if I hold it. Look at that. Pretty nice, huh? I think we can do just another little small piece. What do you think? Should I do that or go behind what's behind door number three? <laughs> yeah, okay. Never mind. All right, let's try this piece. And if you want, I'll do a review of a year from now and say, well, Vaseline never did any harm or uh, anything, and it kept my kept my shit tight. So, whoa, whoa! All right. I mean, this is kind of the the key to it too. Is keep it right on that tip, man. It'll save you a lot of problems. So you don't want to lose it halfway down. You know, you just don't want to. It causes a lot of problems. What do you think, guys? Still a little floppy here and there, huh? Did I lose a piece? Well, they're all in there, man. Let's try a little bit more. Well, now see. Wait a minute. I might have a piece that didn't go down in there. No. Maybe not. Just a little access here and there. Alright. Let's try a little more. It's about the same size piece, about dime size. Anywhere from a dime and a quarter, I don't know. Nickel size, whatever. I don't know. Just a pinch. Depends on your size of cotton balls. Like I said, just go small, man. Don't take no half a cotton ball and put it in there. You're really asking for trouble. I'd break it down to third or fourth, you know, at least. Hmm, I'm really surprised it's taken this many, but you know, it shouldn't really make a difference, I don't think. And that's about as good as it's going to get, people. And if you ask me, that's pretty dang good. I don't. Kind of scared to put any more in there, huh? Huh? I think that's pretty decent, man. I don't think you can ask for any better. I barely hear it, man. That's not bad. I can deal with that. I don't know. Let's, I'm going to try another small piece. Another little tiny piece, man. Just a real small piece. About half of the size of what I've been putting in there. If that tells you. Let's try that. See, I bet you, I bet you I just seated a bunch in there and pushed it down in there farther, which is a good thing. You want it nice and tight. I want gaps in it. So let's uh let's do this right, right? All right. About ready to run out of vessel or petroleum jelly. Okay. I don't remember the process taking this long last time I did it. But, uh. Well, I don't know what happened.
happen. It was just uh It was pretty good there a second ago. I don't know what happened. Probably a piece that wasn't all the way in there. Now it is all the way in there, and now I gotta fill the gap more. But that's all right. I mean, it's gotta get full sometime or another. I don't see me doing this for another hour. I don't the same sword anyway. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go. Whoops. Well. Okay. That's that was it's close, man. I bet half this piece will do it. Cause that was tight until I shoved it in there a little farther. All right, we're getting there, folks. Definitely making progress here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ha! <laughs> you hear anything? I don't hear anything. Still tight. It's all the way in. Well, Mr. Matthew Jensen, there you go. How about that? Like I said, I've, I've had this on numerous of my swords and it hasn't done any rust damage or any anything like that. I mean, really works. So, there you go, guys. Uh, I hope that works for you. Like I said, be careful doing it, man. Don't put too much. Little by little, man. Don't care how long it takes, man. You know, space it out. Don't you do not want to put too much in there, then you're screwed. So, uh, all right. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. And uh, sorry, I had to make another one and look for cotton balls, but uh, shit happens, especially to me. All right, have a good one. Be safe, and uh, thanks for watching. Later.